How many of you this morning are believing for a miracle right now in your life? Yeah. You know, those words that we were singing come from Hebrews chapter 11, and, and it's just a chapter all about faith in the Bible. It says, by faith, Noah built an ark. By faith, Abraham received his son, Isaac. By faith, Sarah conceived a baby in her womb, even though it looked impossible. By faith, the Israelites marched around Jericho and the walls came down. By faith, the Red Sea was parted and the enemies that were chasing down the Israelites were seen no more. You know, that whole chapter is just a reminder that even when you can't see it in the natural, even when it looks impossible to hold on to what you see in your, in your heart, in your spirit, we're sitting in a room today, standing in a room today that was once just a cow pasture out here. But when my dad saw what he saw in the natural, he would close his eyes and he would dream and imagine that one day there would be a church on this field, that one day there would be thousands of people coming. And even though he's in heaven today, we're, we're, we're walking in a vision that he saw by faith in his spirit. I want to ask you today, not just how many of you need a miracle, but how many of you can see a miracle in your heart today happening in your life? I want to pray for you that faith would rise up. If you could just keep your hands up, if that's you today, maybe it's for financial breakthrough, maybe it's for your kids, maybe it's for your parents, maybe it's for your marriage, maybe it's something to do with your health this morning or your friend's health. But Lord, I pray in Jesus' name for miracles in the room today. God, I pray, Lord, that our eyes would be open to see by faith that you're already working behind the scenes. God, that you're already moving things around for our good.